Hey guys, this is Carson from 3D Joe's again, and today we are going through the paperwork collection of Mr. Merkline. This video will focus on the Cops and Crooks collection. So for Cops and Crooks, we have several memos. Um, these are basically when he got the assignment. Please, please uh, find your Cops character roadblock listed below our comments and requested changes. So this is a revisions request sent on June 3rd, 1988. There's page two of that request. Then there is a follow-up for enclosed, please find your character cops character roadblock. There are still some minor corrections. So they sent him revisions twice for this character. So you have all three sheets of those memos. Then you have what's referred to as a color copy. Uh, this was a color photocopier page made by Hasbro internally. And this was illustrated obviously by Bart Sears, who's a very popular comic book illustrator. He did the Brutes and Babes section of Wizard Magazine when I was growing up. Many of you probably know Bart Sears' work. So he got to do a lot of the design for the Cops and Crooks. And I think he actually got to, do, to help design the buck as well, the skeleton that these were um, built upon. So this was done in uh, January 20th, 1988. This is Roadblock. So I'll just fold that, put that with these memos. Then we have the figure sculpture sheet for the same character. It says SPOK, and I'm not sure what that's about, uh, but it's a figure sculpture sheet, 1989. This is the same character, Roadblock. It's a very cool little turnaround. And then, of course, you needed a 360 of that. So I would assume that maybe the other half is going to turn up. But for now, we just have the front and side view. With G.I. Joe, you did all four. And I'm pretty sure with Cops, you did all four as well. So hopefully there's a second sheet around here. This is the invoice for Roadblock, $8,000 that he would send for payment. Now this is the hat, that, I think that's it for Roadblock for now. This is the accessories, uh, also illustrated by Bart Sears. New York's finest, hat and billy club, scale two to one. And then that of course goes with this character, which was also drawn by Bart Sears in 1987. Now do note that these pages are cut and cropped a lot of the time. All right, hopefully that didn't interrupt too much. Do note that these prints are cropped, so this one does not have the full uh, signature plate. Just wanna make sure that that's clear. They are two sheets taped together, two color copies taped together. You can see that on the back of the seam. Uh, you can also be rest assured that this is authentic by the colored stamp on the back from the sculpture department, April, 1987. So authentic paperwork used in the process of creating these items back in 1987. And uh, here is a figure sculpt sheet. This is the front and right side. And then for this one, we do have the back and the left side. <clears throat> Again, New York's finest. So this is all by Bart Sears. So I believe that's all that I've uh, uncovered for the cops run. You have black and white 360 turnarounds, all four views for this character. You have the color copy. You have the accessories sheet. You have the invoice for Roadblock. You have the black and white turnaround for Roadblock. You have the color copy for Roadblock. And then you have three memos uh, for revision cycles. So that concludes the COPS portion of the paperwork. Uh, we'll be back shortly with more. Again, we will set up a uh, PayPal or Venmo account so that they can collect payments directly. I'm not taking a nickel out of this. I don't want a nickel out of this. Uh, but Mr. Merkline would love to transform all this paperwork into cash. And those of you that are diehard collectors of cops, if you're anything like us Joe fans, um, I would expect to pay hundreds of dollars for each piece of paper here. Uh, I know when I was with Ron Rudat, I was paying anywhere from 100 to 300. Uh, I think color copies, I was paying... I think around the 300 area, black and white copies, I was paying around 100. So I would expect, and I, I wouldn't feel good bringing any offer to Mr. Merkline that basically like for this one, you've got three memos, you've got two color copies, you've got several black and white transparent or black and white prints. I would think this would be at least a thousand dollars. But maybe there's some negotiating room in there. I'm not sure. I don't know cops paperwork as well as I know the GI Joe paperwork, but if you're interested, please do get in touch. Um, I'm here all week and would love to help him turn this into some money. Thanks, guys.